So this video is going to be pretty short, I think. Um, I just want to do a follow-up on the solder stencils. Uh, before I got started with the Mylar, I went ahead and ordered this sheet of Kapton from Amazon. It's 2 mil uh, foot by foot, and it doesn't have adhesive. It's just it's just the film, and it's quite thin. So um, I'm curious about how well it will cut um, relative to the mylar. The mylar, you know, the edges around the cut sort of balled up a bit. So it'll be interesting to see if the thermal stability of the mylar or of the Kapton doesn't do that as much. Um, whether the same basic settings and speeds as the mylar work with the Kapton. And then later on, um, if the solder works as well. So let's get started. So right away you can tell that the brightness out of the etching on the Kapton is super duper bright. Um, the Mylar didn't do that really at all. Um, you know, it's not just the camera, it's kind of blinding if you, if you don't shield your eyes from it. And it also seems like it's marking it just black rather than cutting through it. But it's almost done, so we'll know in a second here um, if it went through. It doesn't look like it actually is going through. So you can see that it, it really didn't work all that well. You know, it is etched, but it seems like it's just sort of blackened it. Um, yeah, not, not the most impressive thing in the world. I'll probably try again maybe with a bit more power, but you can see the edge is really sooty. So, yeah, probably not worth it. Probably just the regular transparency sheets are the right way to go.